My friends, welcome to Once Upon a Pike. That is some good stuff. You know, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a corncob pipe. As a matter of fact, you'll find that the longer you smoke pipes, the more you will see that corncob pipes are very reliable and offer an exceptionally good smoke, even though they are some of the cheapest pipes that you can buy. Uh, in my pipe tonight, I am going with a little Captain Black Red Sky. Now, as you can tell from looking at this tin, it's a few years old. Uh, I think this is back from maybe February of 2018. There's a date on the back, uh, maybe even older than that. But anyways, this is simply a wonderful, wonderful tin. So if you get a chance to uh, pick up a tin of Captain Black Red Sky. It is a wonderful aromatic. Um, just want to give you a little bit of an update as to how we're doing here in Kentucky. And also I have a box I would like to open with you as well as give a shout out. Um, so first the update here in Kentucky, things are getting somewhat back to normal, though I hesitate to use the word normal. Uh, shops are opening back up and we are seeing more traffic on the highway um, and going downtown. So it looks like we're busy again, but a friend of mine just prior to me coming here to make this video said that we had a huge spike in the uh, COVID-19 cases. Now, I personally am not, it, it, it hasn't affected me yet. Uh, life is pretty much so going on as, as normal. But um, it is good to see people getting out and to actually see people in person via just watching them on Zoom, as we've been doing with our Sunday school classes for the past uh, couple months. Um, but our church has opened back up uh, with, of course, you know, some limitations and uh, following the social distancing guidelines and such forth. But nevertheless, it is good to actually see people and to come uh, in face to face with them, although we be six feet apart, at least. Um, <clears throat> also, I want to open this with you. So, corn cob pipes. Have you had a good experience with them? Some of you may have even started out on a corn cob if you're new to the hobby, didn't know what else to do. Um, corn cob is a very inexpensive way to join this hobby. Let's see what we got here. Possibly some more corn cobs. I might have to put these together. I don't know. Uh, let's see, I want to get rid of these peanuts because they're going to get all over the place. So pardon me just a moment. I personally don't mind those little, those little, uh, air pocket things that they set in here because they don't make a mess everywhere. This, uh, package I was hoping would arrive prior to the 4th of July weekend just a few days ago but it didn't so we'll deal with it now um, and the reason being is this this is item number one that is Independence Day uh, from the Missouri Meerschaum Company. And uh, 
I'm looking looking forward to getting into this. Also, look at here. American Patriot. Uh, I don't need this plastic bag. So let's take this out. Sorry about the noise there. Good old pouch. Tobacco. So we have a tin and a pouch. This is all, by the way, going to be from Missouri Meerschaum Company. And this is American American Patriot here. All right, this is uh, this is going to be an English blend, and I'm going to look forward to getting into that, which I will, uh, and I'll probably share that with you in a little bit later video. The other items that were uh, included in this package uh, were these corn cob pipes. And this is the first one. Looks like a country gentleman there, bent. I'm impressed with the stem there. I don't have a good stem for any of my cobs. Beautiful pipe. Let's look at number two. I don't know. I don't want to twist that stem too much. Uh, I'll loosen it up for you a little bit later. But look at that. It's coming out really light on my screen but this is actually a beautiful darker amber color there um there's a good way to get this so it's straight without doing any damage to it there we go not a beautiful pipe absolutely nothing wrong with a corn cob pipe and this is the last one on our list look at this little it's a little shorty there again beautiful stem these are all uh, pretty inexpensive pipes for what you get and for me personally I find that I can enjoy a good corn cob pipe as much as I can, a good briar pipe, you know, like this one with my uh, bamboo shank. Um, it, they, they just work really well. So don't be afraid of a corn cob just because it doesn't say Savinelli or uh, Nearup or Dunhill even. Um, there's nothing wrong with a good corn cob pipe. All right, the other thing I want to do here, um, in the midst of all of this craziness that's going on and things being shut down, um, people locked inside, and even when you can go outside, there were so many places that were closed that it was really difficult and it kind of get you down. So, uh, aside from watching the news, I was able to get tuned in to a little video made by Eric the Blue Collar Smoker. It's entitled YTPC the Movie, the Sequel. Now, if by chance you have not seen this yet, I'm gonna put a link in the description below and I invite you to check this out. Eric did such a fantastic job on this. It's really entertaining to watch and what I did is that I watched it a few times and then uh, more recently I went back and uh, I played the video on one screen and then looked up all of the people and you'll see what I mean if you when you play the video on another screen and just kind of paused it and, and did a split screen to see how well Eric matched up um, matched up the players in that in that movie it really is entertaining so Eric thank you just a masterful job it was so much fun to watch that uh, I could not do it without smiling and it felt really good to smile and to laugh 
in the midst of getting all the news about the riots and the statues being pulled down and the this and the that and you know it just felt good to to have some laughter and some joy so thank you very much eric for putting that out there for the uh, ytp ytpc community um i want to leave you with this not long ago my third oldest son who will be celebrating a birthday next week uh, was injured in a skateboarding accident and unfortunately that left him with a a broken arm so he was taken to the emergency room and only one parent uh, could go back there with him so my wife ended up taking him she's a um, nurse she works part-time at the hospital um, in the midst of getting his arm fixed he had to go through a couple of casts the first cast was not set right and was causing him some problems um, so to go back and get that one taken off and get another one put back on um, but he has since healed um, what has not healed however is the expense of that um, treatment so when my wife took him in um, she was encouraged and told hey you know apply for this aid uh, you'll probably get it and it won't be a big deal so we did and we we thought that we were covered um, well about a week ago we got a little letter in the mail my wife sent me a text uh, with a picture of the letter that said hey sorry you are 100 percent responsible for this bill so it ends up being a few thousand dollars um, and what I have done, and, and it's very humbling and uh, almost embarrassing, but I went ahead and started a GoFundMe page. And I'm only um, putting this out really to the, the pipe community um, because we want to pay our bills. I want to pay our bills and I want to be responsible for making sure that that's taken care of uh, in a timely manner. So there will be a link to the GoFundMe in the description. If you would like to give, even if it is a tiny amount, um, that would be encouraging. And, and every little bit, every little bit helps as we have just uh, completed um, paying for um, the fall tuition for my son, my oldest son, Wyndham, who's hopefully gonna get some um, things set so he can be sworn in to go into the Marines, which he will enter next year when he graduates um, from school. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated, and I really hope and pray that you guys will not hold this against me for asking for this for this help in this way. Um, it's a tight community, and I'm, that's why I'm only putting it out to this community. If you feel led to do so, that's greatly appreciated. If not, I welcome you to always come by my channel, and I greatly appreciate seeing each one of you. And as always, I thank you for tuning in to Once Upon a Pipe.